piping materials for water types in process industry. In this video, most widely used piping materials for various water services in process industry, basically refinery, petrochemical, oil and gas, is being used. Here, we will be looking for the various water types used in process industry and widely used materials for them, describing reasons for its uses in detail. Water types most frequently used in process industry are demineralized water, also called DM water, slurry water, portable water and for drinking, so water, corrosive water, fire water, service water, bearing cooling water, boiler feed water, raw water, coke cutting water, water meant for jacketing, hot water, and polished water along with cooling water meant for cooling. So these are the various water types, the material for which will be discussed in detail. Demineralized water. Demineralized water, also referred to as deionized water or simple DM water, is water which has minerals removed by passing through a mixed bed ion exchanger so as to be ridden of its ionic impurities only. So no other impurities, only ionic impurities are removed. The common impurities remain as it is and bacteria like that they remain as it is. The absence of calcium and magnesium from demineralized water makes demineralized water more aggressive than fresh water and thus often referred to as hungry water that uh, in that it wants to be in equilibrium with full ions out of the surrounding materials trying to satisfy its hunger. DM water rarely contains mineral and is a very good solvent. Normal carbon steel easily loses its elements in DM water because of poor corrosion stability. The corrosion rate is however not important as by this corrosion DM water quality gets degraded. If the water contacts carbon steel it will take up more ions than if it contacts with stainless steel and therefore will not be so demineralized anymore and therefore the purpose itself to make the water demineralized or let the water remain demineralized will be diluted. Again, stainless steel is preferable choice of materials for DM water mainly due to near neutral pH condition. For some application, particularly for producing steam, iron contamination by corrosion products are not tolerated. Hence, it is safe to use a stainless steel metallurgy for DM water for producing steam. The corrosion rate will be very minimal in case of stainless steel. Even in stainless steel one needs to maintain a minimum flow rate and if there is any stagnancy it can also get pitted and punctured. Normally SS304, SS316L containing molybdenum 2.5% piping material is used for demineralized water. Finally, materials compatible with demineralized water are stainless steel, copper, aluminium, zinc free bronze so these materials can be used for demineralized water and materials non compatible with demineralized water are brass bronze carbon steel galvanized steel and chromate steel next slurry water slurry water a slurry pipe contains a mixture of solid particles and a liquid, usually water. The particles of the slurry range in size from greater than 4 inches in diameter to less than 1 thousandth of an inch. When the solid particles in the slurry liquid are small and finely ground, the mixture is called fine slurry. Coarse slurry is the name of the mixture when large particles are formed in the slurry. In general, when pipes are used to transport coarse slurry, the slurry velocity must be relatively high to suspend the solids, which is very abrasive to the pipe. Due to the solid hard particles in the slurries, abrasive wear is produced 
by the force action against the sliding along the pipe along the wall of the pipe the loss of material is the result of the hard sharp angular edges producing a cutting or shearing action in the pipe wall pipelines must be suitably engineered to resist abrasion from the solids as well as corrosion from the soil in the tile materials the repeated impinging particles but uh, plastically deform the surface to generate wear debris with brittle materials the impingement cause particles of materials to be fractured as wear debris so brittle material are less wear resistant than the tile materials in an impact erosion condition carbon steel pipes are comparatively cheap but have relatively bad wear characteristic while harder materials better resist the going and flowing action of the abrasive particle flow but pipes made of special hardened steel material steel materials are considerably more expensive steel pipes are used for high pressure and when the slurry is relatively fine and not corrosive again these steel pipes are often made very thick to withstand both wear and corrosion to increase the wear resistance the pipes are often lined inside with different kinds of materials steel pipes lined with natural rubber are generally used to tra for transportation of wearing material under high pressure rubber lined pipes are jointed together with flanges or coupling as welding will damage the rubber now one of the disadvantages of lined pipe is that once set in position in the plant a rubber lined pipe is difficult to modify which may well give maintenance and modification problems during plant operations hdp has proven to be an effective wear resistance material for the slurries now uh, potable water drinking water or potable water is water safe enough to be consumed by humans or used with low risk of immediate or long term harm piping material used for potable water is mostly galvanized pipes which are actually steel pipes that are covered or coated with a protective layer of zinc Although galvanized that is zinc coated pipe is considered to be a safe transport material for drinking water there are some potential health concerns if the water supply is corrosive due to its acidic condition that is low pH level the concern is not for the zinc or iron that may be leaching from the pipe but for lead and especially cadmium to other heavy materials that may be present as impurities in the zinc used for the galvanizing process stainless steel is better than galvanized steel but is more expensive this galvanized steel is okay for the cool potable water next is saw water so water is the waste water produced during many refinery processes it comes from a variety of sources in both upstream and downstream processing depending on those sources the water can be divided into two basic categories so water with just acidic components or so water with both basic and acidic components so water typically contains hydrogen sulfide ammonia and ammonium bisulfide which must be removed before the water can be reused elsewhere in the refinery or sent to a wash water system the combination of hydrogen sulfide ammonia phenol and chloride in the refining process increases the so water corrosiveness carbon steel exposed to wet hydrogen sulfide could show general corrosion sulfide stress corrosion cracking and uh, hydrogen induced cracking normally the initial corrosion rate of carbon steel in aqueous hydrogen sulfide containing solution is high but falls rapidly to low values when a protective scale of iron sulfide is formed on the steel surface among steels carbon steel is least resistant and can experience high corrosion rates in aggressive solution 
the 300 series stainless steel, duplex stainless steel, aluminium alloy and nickel base alloys are, most resist are more resistant depending on aluminium bisulfide concentration and velocity. Now, there is a question for the duplex stainless steel. Duplex stainless steel experiences sulfide stress cracking and the hydrogen embrittlement if the ferrite phase is on the high side. And this ferrite phase on the high side can occur and it's a possibility of it being higher is there in the welded fabrications. Next we have corrosive water. Carbon steels and oil steels have moderate to good corrosion resistance if serviced under coated or cathartic protection condition. Carbon steels have high general corrosion rates, particularly when high velocities are involved and therefore, if these materials are used without protection, they require a large corrosion tolerances and additional allowances for design stresses. Carbon steels or low alloy steels can be safely used in marine, marine environment if the corrosion control is provided either by barrier coating or cathartic protection combined with organic coatings. Cathartic protection is efficient and most beneficial providing good corrosion resistance. Stainless steels have excellent resistance to general corrosion and erosion even at high water velocities due to good mechanical properties. Conventional austenitic stainless steel 304 and 316 are the most common and their main assets are high strength, ductility, workability, weldability and good resistance to general corrosion. However, the main weaknesses is localized corrosion in chloride ion containing solution and fitting under static condition. Molybdenum containing 300 SS316 has better corrosion performance and is more widely used. Addition of molybdenum or nitrogen to stainless steel increases their resistance to pitting as well as strength. Stainless steel with, in, with improved corrosion resistance such as 317, 904 and alloy 20 have also been used in place of 316. However, all these alloys are subject to local corrosion attack and severity of attack though is much smaller. Nickel base alloys have good resistance to general lacquer corrosion, pitting, sulfide stress corrosion cracking and wear and are therefore ideal materials for seawater applications. However, their high costs limit their use to applications where reliability is crucial. Histoloid series of alloys such as histoloid C, histoloid C276 and histoloid C22. Incoloids like incoloid 625 and incoloid 825 are some of the other alloys which have high degree of fitting for crevice corrosion resistance, corrosion fatigue strength. These alloys offer attractive candidature for seawater desalination application if cost is not a main consideration. Other water types Used in process plants are fire water, service water, bearing cooling water, boiler feed water, raw water, hot water jacketing, polished water, cook cutting water. For these water services, carbon steels are widely used. In case of fire water sprinkler system, galvanized carbon steel is used. For high temperature boiler water, stainless steel or steel with 1.25% chromium used. So this was all with the water types and the piping materials used in the various water types. Thank you.